Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today we'll be uh, making a very helpful video, guys. If you have an engine misfire on BMW X5, we'll discuss the top 20 reasons that causes that, guys. And why we're doing that? Because many of you actually requested that video in the comment section below our video. So uh, we'll be covering, guys, the top 20 things that we see that cause engine misfire on BMW X5. So pretty much, guys, it will relate to any BMW. And it doesn't matter if you have a six cylinder V8 engine, we'll explain guys what can cause that for a gasoline engine. So, uh, all the tools guys, parts, anything that you need to fix that engine misfire, we'll share the link where you can get them from. And you can see where we buy all our tools and parts from. Another thing guys, every single car we get at the shop, we make at least 200 free repair videos. Why we do that? Because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. So, let me show you what we have here. We have that BMW with N52 gasoline engine. This is a six cylinder engine, but for instance, guys, that same engine has been used in BMW 3 series, 5 series, X3, X5, multiple, multiple BMWs, guys, even one series. And in Europe, it can be found in six and seven series BMW, one of the most popular engines, guys. But even if you have an eight cylinder engine or a different six cylinder engine, okay, uh, the video will be helpful to help you find what causes your misfire it could be so many things guys and we'll share the top 20 today now before we start let me tell you one thing guys check this channel out how to repair guys this is our main channel and we have helped more than 75 million people we have information that can save you thousands of dollars so please check it out now we start with the most simple thing what causes an engine misfire spark plugs guys okay if you have uh, old spark plugs worn out spark plugs, spark plugs uh, that are the wrong type or the gap is too okay it's uh, actually too big or too small can actually cause engine misfire so spark plugs is very common especially if you have a higher mileage engine and they never been adjusted or replaced uh, number two guys that we see quite often here at the shop is ignition coils ignition coils eventually guys they start going out uh, this engine for instance has 130,000 miles and we had to replace two of them already at about 120 one after another one so ignition coil guys is very common as well but uh, what else can cause not to get spark okay check it out right here now if you look on most BMW engines you will have ground wires coming from the ignition coils and in our case on the six cylinder engine we have ground wire for cylinder one two and three and then for four five and six there is another ground wire right there so remove clean everything make sure there is no rust corrosion and also you have another ground wire that usually attaches from the body of your bmw to the ground wire for the ignition coil so make sure that everything guys is uh, is clean not rusted and not corroded oxidated anything like that so uh, another thing that we've seen often and people will not think about is guys if you have oil leak, uh, you have camshaft position sensors usually on the front of your engine, especially if you have a six-cylinder engine, a V8, I think they're on the back side of the engine. Uh, you have your connectors right here. Sometimes you get so much engine oil from leaks in the connectors that uh, this can actually cause misfire because the camshaft position sensor will not be reading correctly because the oil actually in the wires will, uh, uh, will interfere with the signal. Another thing, it could be a bad camshaft. And we have a video on the channel that actually explains how to test camshaft position sensor, which is not complicated at all and takes only a few minutes. The same thing can uh, actually apply to the crankshaft position sensor. Loose wiring harness, wiring harness that's uh, uh, dirty, wiring harness that's disconnected, all bad crankshaft position sensor can do that. And the crankshaft position sensor is right under the intake manifold. We have a special video that actually explains, guys, how to remove and replace it. And all that can be found on the channel. I'll try to put uh, some of the videos, the links, in the description of the video below. So check it out, guys. I'll try to do that unless I forget. Um, what else can, can cause that? Okay. You may not get, guys, uh, 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 enough fuel and that can cause engine misfire. For instance, you have fuel injectors. You may have uh, the MPI fuel injectors, which is not direct fuel injection system, like this one, or you may have the direct fuel injectors that spray directly inside the cylinder. It's kind of like the diesel engine, but it's gasoline. And uh, fuel injectors, doesn't matter which kind you have, if the fuel injectors are dirty, if the fuel injectors are 
uh, not working correctly, if they are weak, that can cause guys engine misfire because certain cylinders okay, may not get enough, uh, enough fuel and as a result that can definitely guys result into engine misfire. Also going with the fuel, it could be a weak fuel pump, uh, that way if the fuel pump is too weak what can happen actually uh, mm, the engine may need certain amount of fuel and the fuel pump if it's too weak may, it may not supply that amount of fuel and the engine will be starving for fuel as a result you will get misfire. That can be caused by a good working pump but sometimes a bad fuel fuel regulator or, uh, or a fuel filter that's plugged, clogged and doesn't let enough fuel go to it. Uh, we'll have a video guys where to locate and replace the fuel filter but usually right here on the fuel rail on many engines you will have uh, a port where you can check actually your fuel pressure and see if the pump, fuel filter and regulator all that is working correctly so you don't even need to remove it. Uh, now what else okay what else guys okay can cause that quite a few things actually you have uh, you have sensors guys on the exhaust system on the six cylinder and the eight cylinders most of the times you have two of them it's called uh, it's called uh, oxygen sensor like this one right there uh, you will have one on bank one bank two six cylinder engine bank one is on the front of the engine first three cylinders bank two is cylinder four five and six V8 you will have usually left side bank 1, right side bank 2 facing the engine. Uh, but those oxygen sensors they actually guys detect how much air and fuel you still have in the exhaust system as, and as a result okay if the uh, engine is not working correctly what will happen it will tell the engine computer hey dude we need to adjust something we need to adjust the fuel air or something so the car is more efficient more powerful and we don't kill the atmosphere. So that's what uh, the oxygen sensor is for but if guys that sensor is sending the wrong type of information it's not getting the accurate reading as a result it may mess, uh, mess with your uh, engine computer and actually causes misfire as well. Another thing that uh, we've seen quite often you will have a mass airflow sensor usually it's right after the air filter box this is your guys mass airflow sensor uh, and sometimes a dirty mass airflow sensor okay can cause that as well if the mass airflow sensor is dirty it may not read correctly what is happening and how much air the engine is getting because the mass airflow sensor calculates how much air the engine is getting so if guys uh, you have misfire it could be a bad sensor or a dirty sensor we have a video how to test it or sometimes if you don't have original sensor it could be an aftermarket sensor that causes misfire we had that happen in the shop a few times and we since then we started going only with the original stuff and if you want to see where we get our parts from check out the link in the description of the video below not uh, something else guys it could be actually vacuum leak vacuum leak is some extra air that the engine gets but uh, it, it actually didn't uh, didn't know about that air because everything happened after the mass airflow sensor as a result guys that extra air the engine didn't have a way to calculate how much it is uh, because you have a leaking gasket cracked uh, intake boot uh, it could be a broken hole somewhere and we have a special video that explains everything about vacuum leak on BMW so check it out we'll try to share the link in the description of the video below because uh, it's uh, uh, quite a few things that can cause a vacuum leak and we cover all of it in that video so check it out guys now another thing sometimes guys catalytic converters if your catalytic converters are clogged, plugged, not working correctly what will happen uh, the exhaust gas will not be able to come out of the exhaust fast enough it will keep back pressure on the engine that will result into misfire we had that happen actually on a, uh, a few weeks ago even on a Mercedes car the catalytic converter was bad and as a result it was misfiring we were getting calls for a, a random engine misfires because of bad catalytic converter guys now another thing could be guys mechanical and I'm talking you need to check your engine compression because if you don't have enough compression uh, you will have misfire because the engine needs certain compressor in the cylinder to actually for the air and fuel to explode in the combustion chamber and create that power to, uh, that transfers to the crankshaft and from there to the wheels but uh, if you have low compression on one of your cylinders that can cause misfire or maybe even more than one cylinder sometimes uh, the cause for low compression could be bad valves okay it could be also leaking head gasket 
It could be uh, piston rings, worn piston rings, broken piston rings, or damaged cylinder wall, or worn cylinder wall. And another thing that we've seen, but you hope that's not the case, actually, guys, is head gasket, leaking head gasket. If the head gasket is leaking, it can actually leak coolant inside your cylinders. And as a result, if it leaks coolant, you will get the spark plug wet and your car will not start because of that coolant that's in the cylinders. In that case, you will eventually start losing coolant, so you will notice that it's a bad gasket. Uh, something else, super simple that most people don't think about, okay, is if you washed your engine, Put ignition coils and make sure that the spark plug wells are clean, dry, because if you have water that can actually guys cause, okay, it can cause misfire as well. And make sure that you don't have oil, engine oil on the on top of the spark plugs and inside the spark plug as well, because that could be caused by, uh, by valve cover gasket and if the valve cover is leaking, that gasket right there between uh, the spark plug wells, if it's leaking, you will start putting engine oil on top of the spark plug and eventually you may get misfire as well. And lastly guys, that we've seen here at the shop, engine computer. Bad engine computer, we had that happen a couple times. We had the engine computer rebuilt and it fixed misfire. It just burned one of the coils for a certain ignition coil. I think on one of them was cylinder number four and we were not getting spark and as a result, all they did, we sent the computer, had it rebuilt, we installed it and everything was good. So hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.